Shear force diagram of a cantilever. Firstly, we need to calculate the shear forces. Then we can draw the bending moment. Shear force diagram for point load. Shear force diagram for uniformly distributed load. Will be discussed today. Let's start the calculation first. Calculation of shear force for point load. As you can see here, we consider a point load at the edge of the support and the length of the cantilever is L. So this is the force diagram. You have the force F at the edge. Then we have the shear force in the other edge. When we consider the equilibrium of this beam, you can see for F should be equal to F should be equal to V. From that V equal F for you can easily calculate the shear force. For example, we consider F is as a 10 kN, then shear force will be 10 kN. Now let's see how we can draw the shear force diagram. This is the shear force diagram. Shear force is constant over the length because this force is not varying. We have a uniform load from here to there. The shear force in this beam is constant. So that value is 10 kN. So this kind of situation, calculation of the shear force and drawing the shear force diagram is very easy. Let's see how we can do it for uniformly distributed load. Here we have considered uniformly distributed load W, then L is the span of the beam. Now we consider part of the beam to calculate the shear force at, at that end. A distance from the edge, we consider a segment of the beam just to derive the shear force calculation. Here the, we consider shear force as a V1, right? Then how do we calculate the V1? Now we know the distance, we know the W. W is for A distance. So total load will be W into L because W is kilonewton per meter in this case. Total force will be W into L. From the equilibrium, again, we can calculate now in the top you have W into L from the bottom if you consider this segment only V1 so V1 equals W into A so V therefore V equal W into L that is the maximum value now here same as now this is a linear function W is a constant so for the L distance it is W into L in this example if we consider L as 4 meter and W as 10 kN per meter Let's see how we calculate the shear force. V equal 10 into 4. V equal 10 into 4 because UDL is 10 and length is 4 meters. So with that we have a 40 kN shear force at the edge of the support. Here we have a 40 kN UDL. Now let's see how we can draw the shear force diagram. Now not like point load, this value will be very because the length will be vary. Here the shear force will be 0 as you can see here V equal W into A. This is a linear function as we discussed previously. This is a kind of a linear function. So with the A, when A increases, V increases as W is a constant. So this is a linear function. Here it's 0. When A is L, shear force will be W into L. When A is 0, V1 is 0. So here distance is 0, its shear force will be 0. Here shear force will be maximum. So as we can as we calculated previously, the at, at the edge of the support shear force will be 40. So the shear force diagram will be like this. We have discussed the shear force ca calculation method and shear force diagram of a cantilever. Let's meet again from new video. Thank you very much. Oh, watching our videos.